Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some Tank Warfare Tunisia. Um, been having a few Steam issues. I wanted to see if you guys were having them, too. Um, basically, moving through my Steam library has become really challenging. Don't know why, but we're going to get in here and try and play as the British. Uh, first things first, I want to lower the volume because the volume is always way too high in this game. So I'll put the music volume to 40%, speech volume to 50%, SFX, 50% master, 50%. Uh, I think that's pretty good, and of course we're going to apply those changes, because the game has to restart for that to happen. Let's go into campaign, and let's continue as the British. We've been actually playing a lot of battles here as the British. It's been really fun, um, and I want to see if we can go ahead and start that attack. I uh, believe we had an attack going, pretty sure. Let's keep on going. No, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go for it. So we're attacking what looks like German trenches. And here we go, guys. This should be interesting, to say the least. Alright, this should be a pretty massive battle. If I'm not mistaken, welcome everybody, if you're here. Um, and let's see how, how big it is exactly. Oh boy, <laughs> we're going back up the hill, only this time it's daytime. So, I've got a few more uh, options here. So, I'm going to be bringing just about everybody up to the front. Uh, I want to make sure to get a lot of kills here. And we're going to be attacking that position. Um, the the uh, Dijameda, we haven't been able to take that place yet. Um, and I'm thinking the best approach is going to be along these hills, to be honest with you. But I will send a few of our men. No, I think we're going to attack all from here. The reason being, this area offers the best cover. This is not World War One; it's World War Two, And we're trying to improve on our last record. So let's move these guys up and just go in for a massed attack. Uh, we got these tanks over here. They're going to have to come in as well. So this is definitely going to be infantry with tanks. Um, and actually we'll keep some tanks over here, why not? Just to go ahead and push that point, challenge it a bit. So I'm already setting my guys up. It's going to be intense. I'm going to grab these units and go straight for Jameda. Same with these units right here. I'm going to have, actually have them head forward a bit. And the rest of the guys I'm just going to keep as a reserve. we got a few mortar men here, etc. And hello Sebastian and the rest of you guys. How's it going? All right, let's go ahead and see how this works. For England. I'm also going to grab these tanks and start moving up the hill. You can see that a lot of our men are lacking a commander. This is all from the battles I've had here, just kind of playing uh, for fun. And if I could put up every single one of my Gravitine battles, that would be great. But it would take a very long time. God, now you should be moving, son. Not all that frightening once you get that engine rolling. There we go, boy. All right, so Gardner's going to move up here. Can somebody identify this tank? Is it a Churchill or is it a Matilda? Still not sure. Um, I'm guessing once we get to the top of that hill, though, we're going to be engaged by some enemy soldiers. I would be almost certain that that's going to be the case. We're going to put Grant right there because he's got an artillery piece. A knight, I want him to move up quickly. And even Greenwood, we might as well go ahead and move him up. All of the tanks, go for it. It's daytime, it's going to be a lot easier to see the Germans, but you can actually see here there's crater holes up here, there's dead men, this this has been a battle site before we fought here, and taking this hill has been absolute hell. It looks like they've done actually a pretty good job of clearing up the dead as far as I can tell, but this is definitely a dangerous area to put it simply. Alright, come on. All right, our guys are already popping smoke. And these are just our tankers. We definitely have to get our infantry a little closer than this. Because they need to be able to support the tanks. And vice versa, of course. You can see we've got a whole other set of infantry back here. I didn't even see these guys. Uh, I guess we'll send them up the hill. And with the rest of these guys, we're just going to keep on moving forward. Massive attack. And we'll actually fast forward a little bit here. And we should be, yes, we're already encountering some enemies over there on the right side. 
So I'm going to take Gardner and head over there. Got some more enemies over here. Ooh. They still have some trenches here, guys. Holy crap. Target the trenches, boys. We can definitely make this area safer for our incoming infantry. So let's go ahead and make sure those tanks are firing at the trenches. Enemy's going to do everything they can to keep us out of here. Come on, boys. I hope this guy's getting some decent shots right here. Reeves, you should be able to fire by now. Reeves is firing, just not exactly where I want him to. Come on, man. So we know there's an enemy gun there as well. This is a dangerous spot. Look at all that smoke. That is definitely smoke trying to mask our assault. Whether or not it's going to work or not is a entirely different question. How's it going, guys? Welcome. We're losing a lot of commanders. But, you win some, you lose some. And obviously taking this position is not really... A question. I mean, it's a, it's basically a demand by our general at this point. We must take this area. And look at that. Some more Germans. Right there in a nice little pocket. That could be a trench line. We'll get closer and take a look. But I would guess that's probably a trench. Come on, boys. Take cover. No need to panic, men. I'm not like the meanest general. <laughs> Don't be such children about it. Of course, we want to target those ET guns and that um, SDKFC, it looks like. It's going to be hard to target that guy without a tank, so I'm sending Hooper over there. Although Hooper is already having to deal with that gun. I hope he can get some effective fire there. There is a nice shot on the enemy AT gun. I don't know if it actually did any damage. We'll have to take a look. Yeah, well, we definitely hurt some of their men there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely got a nice little hit there. They can definitely reman it, but it's a start. So thank goodness we kept those tanks there. And Hope and Miller, all of these guys are going to go and attack the enemy here. The rest of these guys are already making it up the hill in breakneck speed. some infantry here and kill the enemy over in this area can't just focus on the front if we've got enemies off on our flanks that's not very good come on boys it's bond <laughs> james bond well at least we know where the movie character came from probably a very common english name actually we're still moving towards that uh that special point off in the distance All right, men are starting to get some good shots here. And as you can see, they've remanned that gun. I'm going to take a look here at the chat, guys. Afraid of what I'll see. How's it going, Texas? Thank you, Pip Chip Shiro, ind indeed. Oh, nice. You bought in a seam sale. Yeah, it's... um. I actually have, Andrew, a tutorial for Graviteam Tactics Operation Star. Um, Let me see if I can find it for you. Now, it's a defensive tutorial... But it should get you started, like, understanding the game itself and kind of how it works. Um, it's a very, very different game uh, to what you're used to. You kind of have to think of it like you're the general, um, and uh, you're, you're giving your troops orders. They're not, they're not always going to see, um, you know, they're not always going to accept those orders immediately because, uh, number one, you have to get messages out to them through either runners. They, and this is all done by the game itself, by the game by AI, uh, or through uh, radio operators. So sometimes it takes a little longer. I know how that can be confusing. Uh, this is my Operation Star tutorial. Hold on. I'm going to put it right here for you. All right, guys. Oh man, we got a ton of enemies. Gardner!
All right, I might actually have him try to aim over here at those distant targets. Not sure if he can get any actual hits, but might as well try. If he could hit that SDKFZ or that one of those guns, that's going to really help. And actually, look at that. He's getting some really good shots on that thing. Nice, nice. Did he just kill it? Did he just kill it, you crazy bastard? Good shooting. Yeah, she's down for the count. I don't know if he totally killed her. That SDKVZ is kind of in a weird place on the hill, so I'm not 100% sure we're going to be able to hit her, but we'll certainly try. And Gardner's still getting some great machine gun shots down there on the enemy. Get odd. Just realize that name's a little bit funny, is it? In it. My goodness. Here we go. Nice shot right there on the STKFC guys through the side armor. That may be a kill. At the very least, that, that had to hurt some of the drivers inside. There we go. Another hit. Oh, yes. That thing is still not burning up, but they definitely got knocked out of there. Probably KIA, to be honest with you. And that's a beautiful, beautiful sign of a potential victory here. So we need to keep moving forward. There's another one off there in the distance. Maybe this is where the Germans have been hiding all of the rest of their weapons. And I hope that these infantry are still moving forward. I didn't say you could stop, boys. Get on now. All right. And one thing I love about this new DLC is there is just so much action going on. It's craziness. Oh, look at that. Look at how many enemies are in that trench line right in front of us. And that is just a perfect shot for Gardner if he wants to take it. I hate the way, though, that these tanks, they really have a lot of exhaust. It's a lot of... It's really bad for the environment. Fire, Gardner, come on. What are you waiting for? I think he's looking for a better vantage point here. But yeah, I definitely want him firing into that trench area. Come on, Gardner. Make us happy. There we go. We got some machine gun fire. Although no tracers as of yet. A lot of dead Germans already in there. But that's not all Gardner is doing. That's probably from previous battles. He can, he's being very passive here. Come on, man. Fire a, a shell off. What are you waiting for? High explosive shell right there in the middle of all those guys. There we go. I was worried he was becoming a bit of a pacifist. Uh, welcome, everybody. If you're new to the channel, make sure to also hit that subscribe button. It really helps. There we go. There's some nice shots. You can do it, Gardner. Oh, I think he's already trying to get a nice one here. Of course, he's showing his side armor, which is not the smartest idea. The life of a tanker. And of course, we have to also realize, like, this guy doesn't see what we're seeing now. If we sh That's what he sees. He sees gunfire coming from a position, but he doesn't necessarily see the actual units up close. Uh, which makes his job a lot harder. I think he should stay right there and just fire. Come on, man. A turret doesn't raise too much, does it? Alright, nice. A few more hits up there on what looks to be possibly another SDKFC. She's burning. It could be the old one, though. And there we go. He's shooting at something, at least. He's firing at those positions uphill. I mean, it looks like the Germans have multiple rows here of defenses. But I want him firing over here. I want him firing at these guys to our right. That's my main concern. Uh, let's get back up there where our men are. Our infantry. It looks like they haven't run into any gunfire yet. So maybe they'll take this area without a fight. Oh, we got some shots. We've got some shots. Come on, Watts. Germans in the wire. It looks like we're definitely firing some artillery. What did I just do? 
And we need that already on these gun positions right here. You can see them near Gardner. I mean, he is really up against a hell of a lot of Germans. Why aren't you shooting, Gardner? They're going to make a movie about this guy. He's a fool. <laughs> Come on, Gardner. What are you doing, man? Reverse. Just reverse. Keep firing. There we go. Oh, boy's finally putting some work in. Good work, lad. Come on. There's still plenty of enemies here. I like that he's reversing. He just got a few kills here, or at least a few hits on the enemy. But the enemy's going to try and pop smoke now. And I must admit, like, of all the uh, Graviteam games I've played, this one, and this is a tra uh, technically a Graviteam game as well, although now they're owned by Strategy First, uh, this one has the highest number of troops on the field, uh, especially when you're playing this particular mission. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So Gardner's getting some shots now, but of course the trench makes it very hard for him to also kill the enemy. Um, I wish he could just roll over them, but it's not really too popular here. And we're getting there. We're getting to the main point. Looks like we wiped out those... Uh, Enemies hiding out there. Let's get to Jameda. That's where we have to go. Uh, thanks, Andrew. Thanks for asking. Not really. Um, I mean, I sort of showed a friend via um, screen share, and he knows quite a lot about PCs, and he's like, it looks like a healthy laptop to me. He's like, you know, the best thing you could do is do just a full reboot. Sometimes that's what a PC needs. Uh, like, right now, I'm not having any issues with games or anything like that, but for whatever reason on Steam... Uh, my ability to go to, like, store, library, all that stuff is really, really slow. Um, I don't know why that is. Uh, it doesn't happen on the internet or anything like that. Uh, but in terms of my games and things like that, it takes forever, uh, to start moving and scrolling. So, I don't know if you guys have had ser similar issues on that end. But anyway. More of a Grivus problems. Right, here we go, guys. Kemp. I think all of these guys should attack downhill on the enemy. Let's do a real infantry attack here. Especially Kemp. Get set up, lad. Right, we're taking a bit of a detour from Dijameda, but we're just going to take the rest of these guys and move them into this valley as well. And we'll climb that hill if we need to. There we go, finally getting some return fire downhill. Don't forget, guys, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, you can use that great super chat option. We're all such huge fans of, um, specifically myself, and uh, donate a dollar or two. It really helps big time. There we go, some nice new hits. But I need some Artie coming down on the enemy. And would you believe it, the uh, GT Arty system is still convoluted and difficult to manage. What a surprise. It looks like we have a few men that may have given up here. That's not something we accept. Keep firing, boys. Okay, that's what I like to see. A lot of gunfire going downhill. Now remember, most of our men have essentially guns from World War I, single-shot rifles, but... Let's get enough training with these babies. You can do quite a lot of damage. Now, this guy's wounded. I hope he gets his wits about him soon. Pick up your rifle, lad. There we go. Keep it downhill. Keep it downhill. You can see the rifles don't have uh, tracer shots, so the tracers are definitely coming from machine guns. There we go. There's some arty where we need it. That's what I'm looking for, guys. Got to break this German line. Gardner's still trying to deal with these over here. It's just incredible how well dug in they are. And that's one of the reasons they could survive so long out here. It's just their ability to dig trenches. The Germans have, without a doubt, huge plus on trenches in this game. Let's take a look here. Thank you, Andrew! Uh, I do have a Patreon account, but I'm a bit, um... Oh, muito obrigado, Guilherme. Espero que sim. Um, I, I'm a bit kind of untrustworthy of them, because they initially didn't pay me the first two months. 
um, which kind of made me, you know, very, very nervous about trusting them. Uh, I'm going to see what's going on. Still got to call my bank. So for now, if anybody wants to sort of give a donation per month, what really helps, and I'll show you guys right now, is just go to my YouTube channel um, on um, on Twitch TV. Uh, it's uh, Grip and Max sent to you with a U and no S. And uh, you'll see my, my old uh, sort of profile pick, the Roman uh, coin. And uh, yeah, donate there. Click the kitty cat. I know it sounds weird. Go to the video section, uh, the section where you would be watching the video. Click the kitty cat and you can donate from there. It's very similar to Patreon as well. You can do a monthly thing. You could do uh, a yearly thing if you want. And uh, right now I'm just a little, I don't think I, I don't think they're a bad organization. I just don't think I know enough about Patreon to, to really say, hey, go to this Patreon and, and donate. I would feel bad if your money got lost in and didn't go into my belly. This could be a concern. So there we go. Look at all those enemy commanders. Those flags represent enemy commanders for sure. We absolutely need to take this area out. I don't even think we can accept a ceasefire. We've got, it's our mission right now for the queen to take those scoundrels out immediately. Let's take a look. Once the tanks arrive, I think things will get a little bit easier for our men. Gardner's pretty much cleared that trench out. Or at least really done a lot of work of the, in, of, of the uh, actual enemy in there. You can just see, look at all those Germans. Good work, Gardner. And we still haven't gotten to our main objective point, so we still have some fighting to do. And it looks like the first part of our infantry might be arriving here. Our reserves, anyway. Okay, so we've taken, yes, we've taken the DJ uh, Amen area. Now we can focus all of our forces here on the enemy. Of course, climbing this hill for our tanks is not easy. Um, we're still going to try, though. And we've got Hope and Miller here that are still just kind of hanging out. They better come uh, help us right now. Goddard, you two. What are you doing, lad? All right, wow, they're everywhere, even on top of the road here. They've got some Germans waiting for our men. And a few more SDKFZs down the hill, guys. This is pretty creepy stuff. Let's keep firing, but let's be aware. And I think I'm going to take Skinner and try to kill that SDKFZ. Wow. Shoot, what are you boys waiting for? Look at these Germans. They're braver than we are right now. It's a shameful, a shameful display. Come on, Skinner. All right, now I think we can aim at the STKFC. I mean, that AT gun is also also a problem, but I'm more worried about that tank or, well, that armored car anyway. And it'll also really uh, demoralize the enemy to lose such a valuable piece of equipment, which in this desert climate is definitely a valuable piece of equipment. Come on, boys. I think we have to get closer. There we go. That's a nice shot, actually. Not enough to strike the SDKFZ, but I definitely think we need to get a bit closer. So I'm just going to do a regular move. Oh, nasty hit on the side of Skinner there. I hope he's not dead. At least he's firing. No. Oh, I think he's finished. If he isn't, that guy has balls. Um, yeah, we definitely have some enemy AT guns over there. That's what's causing us some problems. Come on, Skinner. Do what you got to do, lad. Got some infantry coming in, too. Oh, and he's targeted that AT gun right away. It caused him a lot of problems already. It looks like some sort of 88. Keep firing, Skinner. Looks like one of them could be down. Yep. Two of them. Keep up the fire. Another one. Another one. Oh, that's got to be our infantry right there doing that work. That's excellent. I think at this point, it can't really fire. So we can focus on the SDKFC alone. Skinner did incredibly well there. All 
Alright, we might just do a full-out assault. Especially since we've got a bunch of tanks here. I think we're going to do the old-fashioned British assault for the Queen. We'll be taking a look, guys, at the chat very soon. Sorry, it's just I'm so wrapped up in this game right now. Gotta try and get that victory. Let's take a look here. And uh, also, while we're at it, add me on Twitter, too. really helps when people retweet my stuff. Uh, some of your Twitter fans will probably see it as well. Um, no, Guilherme Coutinho, it's the uh, fan. <laughs> All I have right now is a fan. And thank you, muito obrigado. Thank you, my friend, too. You're awesome, man. The party's getting started. Now, I've quit for about three weeks now. It, I think it gets a lot easier after two weeks, more or less. Um, but I still get cravings every now and again. I'll think about them. That sort of thing. Um, but nothing like, oh, I want to go out and buy a pack. Just sort of like I'll smell somebody smoking on the street, and sometimes I'll find it kind of gross. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I remember that smell. That was a wonderful smell. Come on, gardener. Really not doing as much as you should. We'll say it definitely takes a lot longer for the units to move across the actual map than other Graviton games. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Again, I know that they strive for realism. And like I said before, this, this company's recently been purchased by Strategy First, um, which is a very different kind of game. Looks like Skinner bailed out of his tank. That's bad news right there. I hope the enemy's not going to retreat. Ciao, ciao. Obrigado, Guilherme. Thanks, Guilherme. I appreciate it, man. And thank you, Andrew and Guilherme, both for donating. Absolutely awesome, guys. Come on, guys. Just look at how many Germans, Germans, Germans are at the bottom of this valley. It's unbelievable. Come on, Lo. If you're going to help, you need to help now. Move, boy. He's got no uh, APC anymore. Well, no Bren gun, but he knows how to shoot. Every man in the service must fight. See how Noble is doing. So Noble actually has a Bren gun. Um, looks like he can... Oh, yeah. Noble can definitely put some some uh, firepower down on the enemy. So I'm going to make sure that he's focused here. Like, really stay focused, Noble, because we can't have you get blown up. There we go. Getting some great shots there. We've also got some arty landing on the enemy trenches there. That's got to help us a bit. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. And the enemy's asking for a ceasefire. Look at that, guys. The ceasefire flag has gone up. They are begging for this battle to end, but we're not going to let it end yet. Um, there's just too many enemies here, too many high-priority targets. We'll do it for the rest of our boys in the future. No, Noble. Bad Noble. Reverse, reverse. I think he got stuck in the mud. That is ugh, it's silly. It's just silly. There's nothing else. There's no other word for it. He was doing good, too, getting a lot of great shots over here on this trench. Um, unfortunately, close but no cigar, although he got a lot of Germans. We're still moving on. It looks like our infantry is right on top of them now. Of course, this is near a lot of their trenches. We need some prisoners. We haven't managed to take any German prisoners. And it was actually renowned during uh, the Africa Corps. There was very few German prisoners initially. Uh, sort of makes sense. Uh, they don't want to give up. They sort of have a sense of honor. Look at that. Our artillery is still hitting them so hard. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. For once, I want to be able to get more casualties than the Germans as the Brits here. The Brits really, they put everything on the line, of course. Let's see what's going on on that other side of the hill there. Oh boy, Blackburn's in a fight. Oh shit, enemies in the trench. Surrender, there we go. Oh shit, he's just throwing a freaking smoke grenade. Shoot, you bloody idiot. Too late. Too late. Oh, 
All right, some of our uh, tanks are finally re reaching the crest of that hill, and I think they have a pretty good uh, opportunity here to take out some of these officers. See if Skinner can do some some work. We need you to destroy these officers, Skinner. This is the main German HQ for this area. Come on, lad. He's right there. This is not a freaking SAS mission. And he's going to throw a grenade. Come on, Skinner. Shoot. Oh, you son of a bitch. Our guys just take too long to react. Very new to this kind of warfare. Look at all of that gunfire. So many Germans behind that smoke, too, guys. Go, go, go. I think we can agree that I've won. <laughs> Pretty sure, anyway. Our men are scared, but if everybody's shooting, we're going to be just fine. I'm going to have these guys target just this unit right here. I mean, those officers are almost totally dead at this point. Come on, boys. Watch for the trench, Goddard. With this officer staying down, it might be hard to kill him. Our men are definitely either not aware of him or not too concerned with him right now. Oh, 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 oh. Did you get a little too close? Definitely a few shots went his way. We've got some men moving up as well. We're going to have a lot of wounded men, I think, to take to hospital one way or the other. This was definitely a dark day for England, no matter what happens. Hola, Overclub. Ciao. Can we get a close-up of the action? Absolutely, Texas. Oh, that's right. I was putting my Twitter handle here. We're going to get over here where our boys are. They're kind of on the crest of the hill right now trying to fire down, but the enemy's right there on the other side, so we really need some, uh, some assistance, of course. Looks like there's some men down here. And I'm thinking one of them is one of our guys with a Bren gun. That would be so useful, but we've also taken out this enemy AT gun. So pretty nice setup so far. Of course, we've got to keep moving. And I think the one thing that's going to help us is a tank, like Bond over here to kill that SDKFC. It's really going to help us make the enemies lose their shit entirely. But eventually, we might accept that ceasefire. The fact is we've taken all points we need to. And the fewer the men you lose, better off you are. Then again, our guys are going to have to deal with the enemy one way or another. Let's get a close-up of the German lines here. Or at least the closest German lines. You can see some of them are already bleeding. So they've definitely taken some hits. They're definitely wounded. Just not uh, dead or, or heavily wounded. And this guy's kind of taking a look, seeing what's going on. Nice shot! Almost got him. All right, Bond's coming down. Look how quickly he's coming down. Holy crap, Bond. Did he already kill? No, he's still there. So, did he kill that SDKFC already? This guy is hardcore. Of course, he's turning his uh, back to the enemy guns, or maybe not. I guess you might as well try to take out that gun while you're here. Although I think that thing is, yeah, that thing is pretty finished. Looks like there's one gunner on it, but for him to actually move that thing, it's going to be a, a feat of superhuman strength. So yeah, we'll bring Bond down. Let's have him aim this way. He's still firing. Oh, I don't want enemy grenades getting in here. Come on, Bond, what's wrong with you? He's still firing at that thing. All right, here we go, finally. Maybe this is finally a kill on the SDKFZ, guys. He's definitely using that machine gun against the enemy. I don't like how close the enemy commander is getting. Keep it up, keep it up. 
Come on, son. I think he's going for a better shot here. Just look at how much exhaust these put up. And there we go. The Germans are retreating. They are retreating. Guys, see that red number up in the left-hand corner? They are giving up, guys. I hope we took a few prisoners. I've been wanting to since the beginning of this campaign, but it looks like the enemy here is immune to being taken prisoner, and they have abandoned the SDK of Z. So is it due to uh, our fire? I'm not sure. I think it's probably just due to utter terror at having all these tanks around them. I mean, look at all those bullets still, still going all around the place. Now that our tanks are here, the enemy is definitely in trouble. Geneva Convention rules can't run them over. Not if you see them. 40 seconds left. I can't wait to see the actual casualty count there. Nice explosion. And one down, one badly wounded. I love it. Get another shot. Look at how quickly they bailed from that SDKFC. Perfect in condition as well. Not even a track missing, but they pretty much knew it's not a good idea to stick around here. This nothing, It's not going to end well, so let's just give up what we still can. Unfortunately, a lot of the enemy commanders did get away here, um, which is upsetting to me. But I hope we killed a few of them. Let's take a look at the final casualties. And those casualties are going to be a minor victory for our side. 253 casualties, 127 killed, 122 heavily wounded. Um, four missing, which means four prisoners, and eight wounded. Now, we actually took one German prisoner, finally. 115 casualties, 75 killed. Pretty rough estimate for anybody. I mean, that was tough, uh, to say the least. Of course, now we can go ahead and bring out more units. We've taken a key point here, and uh, we are continuing. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, both of you, Texas guys. Um, I'm going to play one more ad because I'm, I'm a terrible person. And after that, guys, I think I'm going to have to go and uh, get ready for some sleep. I do have work tomorrow. Um, but I hope you guys had a really good time. And uh, please stick through the ad if you uh, are able. Many thanks, my friends. All right, guys, thank you again. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Obviously, if you can, head over to the VidMe. It really, really helps when people add me on the VidMe account. We're trying to get up to 50 users on VidMe, and then we can start a brand new channel on VidMe. Of course, I'm still going to put everything here, but might have some extra stuff there for, for the users. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day.